friends today we are going to learn what is constant what is variable and what is keyword in c language so first this is a very beginner level lesson so we are going to understand it very easily so first why we need what is the requirement for this variable constant and keywords so let's take an example in english language we have alphabets for example a b c to z we have this alphabets then using them we can create words for example an apple is a word ball is a word using words we can create sentence in english language and then using those sentences we can create a paragraph similarly in programming language we can use alphabets for example we can use a to z small and capital a to z digits 0 to 9 and symbols like dot less than greater than question mark star hash underscore we can use such symbols digits and alphabets this is our basic character set using that we can create constant variables and keywords once we understand this what is constant variables and keywords we can use them and we can make instructions then we can write many instruction and create a uh, programs so friends this is how these things are used in c language so let us see first what are the alphabets digits and symbols that we can use after that we are going to understand what is constant variable and keyword so let's start friends alphabets and digits and symbols they are known as the c character sets you can take any c program these are all the characters we can use in the c program so these are the characters first these are the alphabets that you can use in any c program these are the digits possible to use in c program and these are the symbols we cannot use anything except these characters in c program so this is our basic c character set but first we'll understand what is a constant friends a constant is an entity it's a thing which does not change for example if i write this number five now this number is never going to change it's a value right so it's a constant similarly if i write a number which is for example 5.35 this is also constant this is never going to change okay for example your grade your exam grade for example a grade can be b these grades are also values they are not going to change these things are known as constant we'll try to understand them in detail a human can remember things in their brain similarly a computer can store these values in memory now, wherever these values is stored that memory location is known as cell so computers store their values in memory location and those locations are known as cell to make the things easier we will give names to these cells when we'll give the names we'll call them variables okay we'll see it later how it's done but for now remember a computer stores number at memory locations the number can be a full number a decimal number a real number for example or it can be a constant click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the regular notification and updates so in c program we have total two kinds of constant first we have primary the next is secondary in beginner level lessons we are just going to understand what are the primary level constant once you understand a programming in a better way then we'll go with the secondary constant so let's understand what are the primary level constant you can have integer constant for example a number 5 6 minus 5 minus 6 minus 10 all these full numbers they are known as integer constant you can have real constants for example 51.5 6.32 minus 3.146 these all are real constant because they have decimal point they are not full numbers and character constants friends in C character constants are placed inside a single quote for example this a is a character constant this dollar is a character constant this at the rate 
is a character constant. So these are the types of constant we can use in C language, integer, real and character. The secondary constants are also there, array, structure, pointer, union and enum, but these are not required right now. We will understand them once you are confident with C language. Now next, what are the variables? As a name suggests, it is something which can vary or which can change. So a variable is nothing but an entity whose value can change. So if I write a 5, for example, this 5 is a constant. Now if I store this 5 in x, now x equal to 5. Now this x is a name of a location where this 5 is stored. When I write this 5, this 5 is stored in memory and I give a name x to this memory location. So x equal to 5. Now here x is a variable. If I write x equal to 6, now x value is changed. Now x is 6. After that if I write x equal to 11, now x has a new value 11. The old value 6 will be erased. So x is a variable here because value of x can change. Remember this 5 6 and 11 they are constants now types of variable in C we can have either integer variable or we can have a float variable or we can have a character variable we'll understand them in the complete lesson of variable I'm just explaining right now an integer variable can be written like int x equal to 35 this x is an integer type variable in float you can have float the name can be anything for example float pi is equal to 3.1415 because it's a real number it can be stored in float and character data type is care then you can write care c is equal to a this is a character type variable this is a float type variable and this is an integer type variable these three are the data types and they are variable data types so now the last thing keywords now keywords are the reserved word or special words for the compiler so these are the special words whose meaning is known to compiler and remember these keywords are the names we cannot use for our own purpose. You cannot give a variable name same as keyword because their name is or their meanings are fixed. For example there are total 32 keywords in C language only 32. Now this each keyword has its own meaning for example int this is a keyword whenever you write int your compiler knows that this is a integer data type when you write a short it's a data type whenever you write a, a float for example or care it's a data type so this each word has its own meaning you cannot use it for your own for your own purpose okay so these are the keywords so friends thank you for watching this video and subscribe to our channel for such new updates